I mean, on the Democratic side, there is all this, all that stuff that I just described going on with the administration today. Um, below the federal level, at the state level today, we just got a really interesting new law in New York state passed by the Democratic legislature in New York state, signed by that state's Democratic governor. It's a new law that would allow individual communities in New York or the state attorney general in New York um, to sue gun makers, to sue gun manufacturers for the harm that is caused by the illegal use of guns, the criminal use of guns in New York state. Again, this new law just signed uh, in, in New York. It's, this is something that is definitely going to go to court. But there is a federal law that's not that old that was passed by a Republican Congress, signed into law by a Republican president. There's this federal law that was that is designed to shield gun manufacturers from lawsuits that this runs right up against. And arguably, that federal law has really never been properly tested. Well, here's Blue State New York today going on offense to say, hey, we'll test it. We want to be able to treat gun manufacturers like the tobacco companies got treated or like any other company that makes products that kill people, uh, that society otherwise has to clean up after without their help. That innovation that policy innovation, which, again, will definitely be tested in the courts, uh, coming today out of New York, right on the heels of something from the West Coast. San Jose, California, the biggest city in Silicon Valley, enacting a new regulation by which local gun owners in San Jose will be required personally to get liability insurance. Because gun ownership has proven to be something that inherently poses a risk to others, uh, they want gun owners to have to buy liability insurance. They also want an annual tax for gun owners to defray local expenses in dealing with gun crimes. And again, that, that too will end up in court. But that's the community of San Jose, California, a relatively progressive community and progressive state going on offense on gun violence, trying to innovate some kind of policy solution to something that is so intractable and so intolerable in so many American communities, a problem for which Republicans have blocked every proposed reform or advance of any kind at the federal level. Uh, Philip Atiba Goff, who is a Yale, law school, a Yale scholar um, and an advocate on, on guns and policing issues, Philip Atiba Goff and California Democratic Congresswoman Katie Porter wrote this week in The New York Times about trying to promote nationally an innovative idea to reduce police shootings. Uh, when people call 911 because somebody is in a mental health crisis or because they need a safety check-in, somebody behaving irrationally, somebody, for example, posing a threat to hurt themselves. When somebody calls 911 for that kind of a crisis, the first responders dispatched in response would be trained mental health workers. That's who would get there first, not necessarily armed police officers as the first response, but people instead specifically trained in mental health and substance abuse issues to defuse the situation, de-escalate, try to get some help there. You might have heard this kind of discussion for a, a sort of different approach to 911 calls for people who are in crisis. This is a new approach that is being piloted with considerable success in multiple places around the country right now, and basically in progressive communities around the country. So far, the initial responses to these pilot projects show that it's good for police. It's good for people in crisis not getting shot by police. It's good for the people who are trained to do this work to be able to do it at the tip of the spear where they can do the most good and save the most lives for people in the most dangerous part of mental health crises. It's, it's being tried out in communities around the country, and it, initial indications are that it's working where it's being tried, which is interesting, right? Substantive approach. Congresswoman Katie Porter trying to get a national grant program now for communities everywhere to try that approach if they are interested in that kind of approach, to apply for a grant, to put in effect that kind of a pilot program to see if it works for them. Places that are trying it are having good success. How about a national grant program to allow communities all over the country to try it? Constructive, right? Innovative, at least. Policy ideas, new approaches to hard problems.